Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray. Today I want to look at Split EQ. Came out a couple of weeks back. I don't think it's been covered to its full extent, and it certainly hasn't been systematized. I want to give you a couple of steps so that when you use it, you feel fully confident. Let's go. So here it is, Split EQ. Its claim to fame is that it can detect and separate the tonal aspect of a sound from its transient aspects. Just that alone is just crazy info, mind blown. But here's what's important. Why would you use it? As far as traditional EQ goes, if I insert a channel EQ, and let's say for drums, I wanna increase the thud of a kick. If I bring in a low shelf, you can get this horrible sound, check it out. So that's like using a hammer to push a thumbtack in. Let's use something a bit more practical, uh, something that's a bit more fine-tuned in nature. And so rather than taking the, the actual body of the sound, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these low cuts. We have two independent low cuts, one for the body, one for the transient. Same goes for the high cuts as well. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna increase this as a whole, and we'll try and find a sweet spot so that we can cut off the mud, let's say at 30 hertz, but now increase the thud that we're looking for in a nice, direct, and clean way. Let's do the same here, just add a little low shelf. All right, if we bypass this, there's a global bypass here at the bottom. Let's check this out. Sounds too flimsy, too weak, but again, if we turn it on. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is make a decision. What do I want to do? And then after that, I think the next best thing is to go into the transient and tonal global sliders and to basically find that sweet spot of what you're trying to accomplish. So I brought the transient info up, and then I'll go ahead and just balance it out just by bringing it down here. So let's take a listen. Again, I'll bypass, let's compare. So that was a good overall choice in my book. I'm gonna go ahead and now take Band number three. Now it looks like one band, but you can actually separate again, tonal from transient. And so green equates to transient and blue equates to the body. And so we're gonna go ahead and lift here. Now, if you're not somebody that understands like frequencies and where things sit, if you hold option and command, you can go ahead and audition the sound. So let's try that now. Yeah. So this is only happening to the body of the sound now. And if I hold shift while I drag, I can increase the overall slope. I could make it narrow or just wide. So this is really cool because we can make aggressive decisions, which if you're a beginner, you probably already are making a bunch of aggressive decisions, but have little or no of the consequences. So let's listen to this before. and after. So that's a big jump as a whole. Another instance of using this would be, let's say on an acoustic guitar. Again, the very first thing that I would want you to do is to make a decision of, of what is it I'm trying to accomplish. So let's take a listen to it. Okay, so right away, I want some warmth and more detail on the strings. So here, I'm gonna try and see if either a transient low shelf or a tonal low shelf will work better. Let's start with tonal. All right, so I don't think that's gonna work because there is a resonant note there. And so what I'll do is I'll add a transient low shelf just to get some warmth. And then for band number two, Right now it's colored white, but that's because they're both on the same level. As soon as I create that separation, then you can go ahead and see 
uh, the distinction there. And so again, I'll hold shift and I'll take away that resonance that's, that's buzzing. Okay, so I got the body that I was looking for, but now I need some of that string separation. And so I'm thinking that if I bring up the transient information like at 4K or something that, that we'll get something. Now for those of you, again, you need more insight, here's what I recommend. At the bottom right, if I hover over the small headphone icon, we can actually isolate by the transients and, and the body. Now if you're more visual in nature, I'm definitely more audio based, but if you're more visual, then go over to the analyzer and separate this by transient. And now you're, you'll be able to see directly where's the body and where's the transient. So let's go ahead and click there and I'll press play. Okay, and so yeah, again, somewhere in here, but just to be clear, let's go ahead and isolate just the transients. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to stay until the end because I have a way of controlling the detection algorithm, so stay tuned for that. All right, so it's very important once you're done using this, you're gonna to wanna to bypass the solo transient or if you're using solo tonal signal, be sure to go back to your default state. And so then now we're bypassing on a global level. Let's listen to this. It's a good recording, good signal. Needs a little bit of treatment. So that sounds much better. I'll go ahead and just uh, have a high shelf of just the body here, just to add some of that, uh, you know, high end brilliance again before. Sounds really, really flimsy and after. So I hope you're starting to see the value of what this plugin is. This thing is going to change the game. Let's apply another one of these on an electric guitar. When you first open it, it's great. It gives you a little bit less in here, which is fantastic. So here are my steps. This is the way that I like to use this plugin. Uh, let me show you what we're working with just to be clear. Okay, so from the top, and I'm gonna give you some new parameters, and then I'll show you basically where this plugin shines. It has a technology called structural split, and this I think is where most people missed the boat. So again, develop the overall decision. What do I want to do? So I'm gonna listen to this. Okay, I personally feel it has a lot of transient material. I'm gonna lift up the tonal gain just a little bit, and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's enough just to kind of get the ball started. Now, from there, something I haven't mentioned is you can actually pan both tonal and transient aspects on either a global level or on a band level. So more on that later. But here, I'll just give you a quick example. If I pan the transients to the left and the body to the right, it sounds like this. So you, again, if you're listening with good headphones, you should be able to, to check this out. So this is actually a, a good idea just, uh, just as a concept. I'm going to uh, emphasize kind of the low end transient material on band number one, okay? And then uh, I'll move the airy stuff over to the right. And so for that, I'm gonna increase band number five and that's just on a tonal level. All right, so step number one, develop the decision. Step number two, use the transient and tonal levers to balance out the signal. From there, go ahead and make an EQ or a pan decision. Do I want to make an EQ decision or a pan decision? So in this case, as I mentioned, I want band number one, the low shelf. I want the transients to move over to the left and this bell filter here, number five, I'm going to shift the body 
over to the right. So we're hearing all that airy reverb on the right channel. Let's take a listen. That is crazy. Here's bypass. Check it out. And just so much sweeter, so much fuller. Check it out. So I would say that's a really good place to start. For those of you that really want to go deep into the plugin, let's talk about its mainframe and what's kind of what's building it from the ground up. Let's talk about structural split. So here we have the ability to create source separation and transient separation. And how you do this is by selecting an algorithm. This is gonna sound good most of the time just in general, but if you wanna perfect the signal, I suggest you select the appropriate algorithm and then from there, we'll create transient separation here. Now, this is gonna have a pretty dire effect on the signal. And in order to really pull this off, we're gonna go into this section here, which allows you to isolate transients from the body. And we're gonna click on the transient signal. From here, we're gonna go ahead and set this down to zero. Let's see what happens. You can see that it's not really catching uh, much of the signal, but as soon as I go to 100%, it's catching just the transients. So this is where uh, all the advanced users, all the pros are gonna really wanna spend time uh, dealing with the sound. One of the things I heard when I was listening to this guitar was that uh, and not enough of the signal was going through. So this is something I'll address now. So I want less separation. Okay. And then I want just more of the signal to pass through, just not the transients, right? Uh, so let's take a listen here. Right. So that's going to sound a bit more natural. If I have the decay set to zero, you're just going to hear a lot of uh, transient detection. Yeah. And that could be good. That could be good for the, the crack of a snare or a vocal or something like that. All right, so let's take a listen. Okay, so then now make sure you always go back to the default because that's not going to sound good. I mean, I guess it's a cool effect, but let's go ahead and listen now. Yeah, like when... When we first started, I heard like it was a bit choppy. And so just using decay here was able to really get the sound that I wanted. To sum this up, we have the structural split and we have source and transient separation. And the cherry on top here is that you have the ability to use transient decay and transient smooth. This is just kind of the last piece of the puzzle. Uh, if the transition with those transients going into split EQ doesn't sound smooth enough. All you have to do is just lift this up. It should sound a lot better. So from the top, we're bypassing. Let's take a listen. So what a massive difference one plugin can make. Let's go. And just to sum it up, now, I only inserted this on a couple of elements, but still, we're going to go ahead and bypass them all at the same time. So let's see here. We had all of these plugins, the drums, the guitar, and the acoustic guitar. And so let's create a group. Here is before. Split EQ by Eventide, changing up the game. Here we go. Good 
Good. One more for the road. Let's bypass. Here we go. Yeah, that's a massive difference. Let's turn them on. Okay, all right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a like, go ahead and share. If you do want this plugin, reach out to Eventide, tell them that Eddie Gray sent you. They may give you a courtesy discount. This thing is a game changer. These are our prophetic words, trust me. This will change the game. It's just a matter of time. Uh, more people need to adopt it. So go ahead and just support these guys. We're gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for the support. If you wanna support the channel, go into the description. We've got various links. Appreciate you guys. See you later, bye.